in this video I want to have more example for determining the formula of a compound so that's the procedure that we saw in the first part we obtain the empirical formula compute the mass corresponding to the empirical formula calculate the ratio and then finally we calculate this ratio molar mass divided by empirical formula mass then the molecular formula becomes empirical formula times this ratio so let's have some more examples determine the molecular formulas to which the following empirical formulas and the molar masses pertain so here we have SNH sulfur nitrogen hydrogen and we have 188.35 gram per mole this is the molar mass so the empirical formula is SNH so the atomic mass of sulfur is 32.07 atomic mass of nitrogen is 14.01 and hydrogen is 1.008 so in total we will have 47.09 gram per mole so if we divide molar mass by this formula weight we get the ratio so 188.35 divided by 47.09 so we obtain 4 so the molecular formula is SNH4 or S4N4H4 next example we do the same thing here we have NPCl2 and the molar mass is 347.64 grams per mole so first of all we need to calculate the formula weight we have nitrogen which is 14.01 phosphorus which is 30.97 and Cl which is 2 times 35.45 so if we add all of them it's gonna we're gonna get 115.88 grams per mole then we need to find the ratio 347.64 divided by 115.88 gives us 3 so the molecular formula will be this times 3 so we have NPCl2-3 or N3P3Cl6. Next one we have COC4O4 and the molar mass is 341.94 gram per mole. So cobalt is 58.93, carbon we have 4 atoms, 4 times 12.01 plus 4 times oxygen. So we will have 170. 0.97 grams per mole so here molar mass is 341.94 divided by 170.97 we get 2 molecular formula will be CO2 C8O8 the most common form of nylon nylon 6 is 63.68 percent carbon 12.38% nitrogen, 9.8% hydrogen, and 14.14% oxygen. Calculate the empirical formula for nylon 6. So we have four elements. If we assume we have 100 grams, we do the same thing. Assuming 100 grams of nylon 6. So 63.68 grams carbon. That's the atomic mass. One mole of carbon contains 12.01 grams C. So we can say here in one mole of nylon 6 we have 5.302 mole of carbon we do the same thing for other elements for nitrogen for hydrogen and for oxygen so we obtain this number of moles okay and then we divide it by the smallest number so here we have 5.302 divided by 0.8837 we get 6 the other one is 9.72 divided by 0.8837 we get 11 and the other one is gonna be almost 1 so the empirical formula will be C6H11NO next example determine the molecular formula of a compound that contains 26.7% phosphorus 12.1% nitrogen and 61.2 percent chlorine and has a molar mass of 580 grams per mole so we have three elements one two three 
So we do the same thing. We assume we have 100 grams of a compound. 26.7 grams P. One mole of P gonna give us 30.97 grams P. So we have 0.8962 moles of phosphorus per one mole of this compound. We do the same thing for nitrogen. We calculate the number of moles and also for chlorine. So if we divide chlorine by this number, we get two of chlorine, one phosphorus and one nitrogen. So the empirical formula will be PnCl2. So let's calculate the formula mass or formula weight. Phosphorus is 31, N is 14, Cl is 35.5 roughly times 2. So we get 116 grams per mole. The molar mass given here is 580. So we find the ratio of 580 divided by 116. It's going to give us 5. So the molecular formula will be PnCl2, 5, or P5N5Cl10.